Bates. I'm running for Cincinnati City Council, and I'm a kind of a long-term policymaker. I uh, served for seven years on the State Board of Education and six years on the Cincinnati School Board. Uh, that's where I'm currently serving. I was educated at Xavier University when I was much younger, but my midlife crisis was getting my Master of Public Administration degree and uh, my certificate in nonprofit management from Northern Kentucky University in 2005. So uh, I thought that was a pretty healthy thing to do. Other people did other things. I chose to study. I was popular in our family. Uh, I also am employed full time in addition to the Cincinnati School Board. I work for Life Center Organ Donor Network and the nonprofit organ and tissue recovery agency that serves the hospital. I love that work. I plan to stay on after, uh, hopefully, I'm elected. I am elected to city council, and that uh, is, is concurred by my employer. I didn't check that out as well. But I love that work. It grounds me. Uh, working with folks in the hospital, we work with, with folks, with people who are the neediest, and then you see tragedies turn into, you know, is uh, a great grounding experience for me. I want to make the switch to Cincinnati City Council. Many of you probably are familiar with the uh, act of violence that brought me here. About a year ago, my husband uh, was taken from us due to an act of violence that occurred at my home. And that definitely was a turning point in my life. Uh, changed my priorities. Uh, we've heard a lot today about the criminals and how they should be treated. I'm, I'm approaching this from a position of strength. I'm a victim of crime. The day my husband died was the day he was no longer employed by his employer. That was the day benefits ended. So for all the victims of crime out there, you know, it's not just losing a loved one. It's losing a source of income. It's, it's you know, devastating to families. So you're, you do receive a lot of reminders as to how we should treat Criminals. I just want to be a reminder as to you know to what happens to families. You can talk about poverty. That's a great generator of poverty. Uh, I got my master of public administration. I work for a good employer, so I was able to make the transition. But other victims aren't. About one percent of the people uh, in our population are violent criminals. Ninety-nine percent are not. I'm with that ninety-nine percent. Uh, you're either a victim of crime, I'm sure all of you have been tested uh, by it in some way, uh, or a potential victim of crime. And that's my mission to make sure that nobody else has to go through what we went through from a position of strength. Uh, I am involved in my community, have been uh, for a long time, but particularly since, uh, since our situation has occurred. And about a year ago, there was a press conference and officials at the highest level of the city proclaimed there is no crime problem. And I'm sure you'll hear you've heard today from every council member or potential council member and from the incumbents that it's a number one issue, and it is. If we can't walk our streets, people aren't going to buy our homes. If they don't feel safe coming into our city to do business, we won't have economic development. And I have the passion commitments to make elimination of crime a reality in our city.